Hello and welcome to my channel. This is Kendra and I'm so glad you're here. Today I'm sharing a card made with the Spellbinders Clear Stamp and Die of the Month for August of 2024. It's called Colorful Expressions Blossom. It has these beautiful flowers in a scalloped arch along with two large sentiments, hello and for you, plus some smaller sentiments that say thanks for all you do on your special day, on your birthday, from all of us, just wanted to say, my friend, and just a note. It has coordinating dies that will cut out the image plus the two larger words and a rectangle piece for the smaller sentiments. So I'll go ahead and jump right in with stamping out the images and sentiments. So I have a sheet of Express It Blending cardstock in my Misty stamping platform and I'm going to be stamping the image both large sentiments and a few of the smaller ones using Memento Tuxedo Black ink. And I'm using the smaller stamps that I use the most. Thanks for all you do and my friend. I feel like I'll probably give more cards with these sentiments on there. But I went ahead and stamped out another one just in case I mess this up on my coloring. Because I tend to do that sometimes. With this being a brand new stamp that hasn't been conditioned yet. It's stamped really well. But I did add a second coat just to make it a little bit more crisp. One thing that I love about the Spellbinder stamps is that they are made in the USA from high quality photopolymer. Now that the images are stamped out, I'm using the coordinating dies to be able to cut them out using my die cutting machine. And I'm using some low tack mint tape on top just to hold it in place. And this did take me a second. I realized that I've stamped the for you a little bit too close to the hello. But since I've stamped two, I've got to cut, I've got to run this through my die cutting machine twice anyway. But um, I love using my electronic die cutting machine. It's just so much easier than the manual one. Um, but off camera, I went ahead and used the dies to cut out two additional layers from white heavyweight cardstock so that I could give this some dimension rather than using foam tape. I've started doing this and I'm actually saving some money um, without having to buy some foam tape all the time. So next I will zoom in for the coloring. I'm using Copic markers in some peachy pink colors and some kind of mint green. I'll list the colors that I use down in the description box. But while I'm coloring, let me explain a little bit about the Spellbinders Clubs. There are several different club options to choose from. Die cutting has three options. So you can choose the small die, large die, or stitching die of the month. There's hot foiling, which is the glimmer of the month. There's the stamping club plus a coordinating die, and that's what I'm showing you today. And then embossing clubs have two options. There's a 3D embossing folder and a regular embossing folder. And then there's also a better press club wax sealing club and stenciling so for the stencil of the month or you can get all of them and that's called the whole caboodle so for more information about the different club kits you can visit spellbinders and i will have all of this link below but the kits are shipped monthly the sign up window is between the 6th and the 27th of each month the first kit will charge immediately when you sign up and then on the 5th of each month and the kits will ship by the end of the month and you can cancel at any time but if you're interested in signing up for this kit i will have it linked down in the description box below i'm excited to be able to bring you some card making inspiration using this kit for the remainder of this year so the clear stamp and die of the month i'll be bringing that to you next month through december i'll also have more card making inspiration with the small die of the month kit and the large die of the month kit starting next month so, of course, if you don't want to sign up for a monthly kit, you can purchase the products the following month. But what's great about being a club member is that you get free shipping. Plus, there are some additional club member benefits. You get 10% off select Spellbinders products. You can save on past kits. And you can earn creative rewards for each purchase. A free annual gift. Monthly tutorials. And then there's an exclusive bonus deal. So lots and lots of goodies if you are a club member. All right, so back to my coloring. After coloring my flowers, I decided to add some sparkle using this Nouveau Aqua Shimmer Pen in the color Blush Rosette. 
I just painted this on top of the areas where I colored in with the darker shade of pink. And this just adds some shimmery glitter to the image and you can see it when you tilt it in the light. I know it's kind of hard to see on camera. But for the back panel on this card, I'm using one of the past embossing folders of the month. This is called Lattice Work. And I've run a sheet of light green cardstock with this embossing folder through my die cutting machine. And I trimmed the panel down to be four by five and a quarter inches. I'm using a sheet of white heavyweight cardstock that I cut in half and scored at four and a quarter inches for my card base. And I cut a black panel of cardstock that measures four and an eighth by five and three eighths to use as a layer and help pull in the black from the image. I wanted to add some gold metallic foil cardstock behind the die cut image, so I used a pencil to trace along the inside part of the die on the back side of the foil. I don't plan on cutting out all the scallops, but I'll use my pencil line to cut the arch along the inside of the pencil marks. So I'm going to put on some music while I show how to assemble this card, but I hope you've enjoyed this video, and if so, I hope you'll give this video a thumbs up and leave me a comment to let me know you stopped by. I'd love to know if you subscribe to any of the Spellbinders kits and which club kit option you, you chose. If you're not already a subscriber to my channel, I'd love it if you would click on that subscribe button. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a wonderful day.